Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Farrell Center here on the Baylor campus, the home of the Bears. Makes a beautiful Jimmy. spin Bro. to get the basket. Good one with the inbound. Good one with the ball up top. Ingunu scores and gives them the advantage. Jacksonville State Gamecocks with the ball now, and I think you'll agree this is a pretty solid ball club we'll see. And they're really solid defensively. That's where their strength lies. They've also got a couple of really potent scorers out there. All right, let's see how it plays out. Mike, this is the way you set up a drive to the hoop with great finesse. He got his man going one way and immediately crossed over to the other side. Just lost the defender, didn't he? Ball's up for grabs. Takes the ball away. Crow sinks the basket and gets a trip to the line for one more. With the extra point at the line, he completes a three-point play. Three-point spot on the scoreboard. Truscott backs it out. Rohde Jack makes a nice Truscott. assist on that bucket. Goodwin inbounds the ball. The Baylor Bears are back five on the scoreboard. He's in close. Chandler, nothing but net. They really need to focus their offense toward the mismatch in the post. He has a height advantage underneath, and he's getting single coverage most of the time. Get him the ball. For two, Hudson drains it from 14. It's a five-point game. Let's go! 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 He's double teamed. Manages to pass out of it. Passes back. Shot clock is at six. They have to put it up. They drop it into the low post. Pass taken away. Another terrific job on defense to get the steal. And Jay, look at both teams' total steals tonight. Mike, you have a contributing factor right there in the steals. The performance of that defense, pushing you further out on the floor, getting out in passing lanes, and shooting gaps. On the replay here, Mike, watch how he finishes after Jimmy. making this great oh. head and shoulder fake with the ball. Really shocked the defense. Just no way to stop that. And he put the defense in risk of getting a foul on that play. And he doesn't, and the offensive play worked perfectly. Goodwin passes it in. The Bears have the ball down by seven. And Gunu, with the ball up top, gives it back. Peters up top. Goodwin up top. Oh, this kid has amazing ability. You can't teach that. The Cox take it up court. They're up by five. Truscott with it up top. Crow out on 
on top. He fires. Truscott from the elbow Jack is good. Truscott. Mike, this is where a coach really needs to set up his defense to rotate someone over to help on that strong side and force him to shoot going away from the basket because this kid is doing a number on them from the post. Peters has it up top. Puts it up. Chandler gets his sixth point this half. He has been a scoring machine all night tonight. Truscott going to the bench. It's a five-point game. Crow with the ball up top. Let's go Bears! Let's go Bears! Let's go Bears! Let's go Bears! He shoots. Sometimes I think it's best to stick to the basics, Edward, and that's what they did right there. And there's nothing more. Chandler puts the ball in play. The Bears have the ball down by seven. In Gunu with the ball up top. The Bears, Jay, have a pretty decent deficit right now. We played a good portion of the first half. Like their play to this point. Mike, thus far in the ball game, I don't think this team has done a very good job of making passes. They need to make more passes, make that defense move. When you make the defense move, you'll find some easier scoring opportunities that you can exploit. This kid really hunts his shot. He is determined to get good looks at the basket, and he's got great concentration. Nothing rattles this kid. Peters has the ball up top. In low now. Textbook play down in the low post. Good patience as this kid was determined to back his man down and get into the low post. If he keeps putting that ball on the floor, making that move, you've got to double team him right off the first dribble. Perfect on the shot after the Jimmy. beautiful crossover. Oh. Mike, there's really not a whole lot you can do to stop him from burning it. He is such a scoring threat every time he touches the ball. So the key is, don't let him touch it. Good up top with the ball. What a pretty assist that was. And he's really racking up those assists right now. He's got a great awareness of where his teammates are on the floor. He's got eyes in the back of his head. The Gamecocks take it up court. They're up by five. Boatner drops it in. The Steelers. Boatner. Chandler throws it in. Seven points between these clubs. Passes it back. Only seven on the shot clock. And Gunu up top with the ball. Chandler canned the open shot. The game comes with the ball. The lead is four. The game comes. Have a slight edge on the scoreboard. They're up a few right now. They play well so far. And we've gone through most of the first half, and now these kids are looking forward to going to the locker room. What's going on on the court in your mind? Mike, I think the difference has been shooting. This team has shot the ball really well. They've worked hard to get good shots. They've scored off their defense. They need to continue to play good defense and take advantage of this good shooting night. Truscott comes back in after sitting on the bench for a while. Five-second call. Chandler throws the ball inbounds. Need help, need help. They drop it inside. Ngunu comes back, decided there wasn't enough room. Chandler. Reginald Chandler. Two-point differential between these clubs. For two points, 
Hudson buries it from the high Jay post. Hudson. Boy, nice touch from a kid you don't see taking a lot of shots, but a good effort on that play. And Gunu makes a beautiful crossover move and gets the bucket. They just didn't pass the ball in soon enough. Peters with it out top. Wellington is called for charging on the play. Wellington doesn't get away with the charge there. An easy call. That's his first foul of the game. Another basket, and we're seeing the backcourt just Bro. dominate this game, Jay. I think this team's guards have really gotten the advantage in this ball game, Mike. You're going to have to really press out on these guys because they're knocking their shots down right now. And Gunu with the ball up top. Jumper. Goodwin hits the front iron and comes out. There's the buzzer. The score for the first half, 30 to 25. Boatner will leave the floor. Hudson passes it in. The Jacksonville State Gamecocks have a nice lead here to start the second half, Jay. They were leading in the first half as well, of course. What's their recipe for success tonight? Mike, their coach had to be very pleased at halftime with this lead because they shot the ball so well and they played so well offensively. But in the first five minutes of the second half, they really need to lock down defensively and send a message to the other team. They're not giving up anything easy. Goodwin with it out top, delivers back. They get it down low. Clock down to six. Mike, this is one of those times where you make a poor shot selection and you wish you could get the ball back and do it all over again. Jay, that is so impressive. Junior Hudson. Peters with the inbound. Nine point game we've got going. it up top. And Gunu lays it in. No foul there, and clearly the defense wasn't set. Great judgment to make the drive, get a shoulder down, and get to the basket. Truscott with the ball up top. The ball inside now. Hudson comes back out. Hudson gets his sixth point this half. Junior Hudson. Boy, this is why you coach. A coach's dream. Ball movement, unselfish play, and five guys playing together as one. That's a nice job from this ball club. Playing together, Mike. Chandler up top. Takes the shot. And Gunu left alone, and he makes them pay. The Cox have the ball, and it's a seven-point lead. They push it inside. Crow decides he doesn't have the space. Fires. Hudson launched that one long, and he missed. The Bears have the ball down by seven. Oh, what a crossover move, Mike. I didn't expect that one, and clearly the defense didn't either. Jay, that surprised all of them. Hudson throws it in. It's a five-point game. Crow with it up top. Kicks it back. Takes the jumper. Rody tosses it in from the wing. 
Leon. This kid is just an assist machine, Mike. He's got great court vision and great court awareness. He knows where everybody is on the court. What an asset to have such an unselfish kid out there on your team. Good one. He gets his second assist of the game. Another difficult basket, and it's this defense that's doing it. They've made every possession hard tonight. Well, they haven't been able to get the open looks they want. I think they've got to get more ball movement, better passing, and better movement. It's not just bad luck that's affecting them here tonight. With the J, Hudson sinks the leaner. Man, that was not an easy shot, and somehow they've been successful playing this way since the game started. Yeah, Mike, the defense has been playing tough, but when the other team keeps hitting tough shots like that, you've got to stay focused and not be brought down mentally by the other team doing something spectacular. And if you're on defense, you just hope it doesn't last much longer. Oh, what a great pass. He is really backing up the assist. That's got to be happening. Yeah, that's six for this kid, Mike. He's playing smart, he's unselfish, and he is really finding open teammates. That's giving them a lot of easy chances. Boy, that's the way Jimmy. to set up your drive to the hoop with great finesse, a terrific crossover. Just lost the defender, didn't he? This kid's got some real skills. Peters with the inbound pass. The Baylor Bears and the ball down by seven. some difficulties out on the court tonight, Jay. Well into the second half. They're trailing now as they were at the halftime break. They need to turn it around somehow. What sticks out to you about their play? Well, Mike, they've relied upon their defense thus far in the ballgame. I think they really need to pick it up offensively. They're a big disadvantage. They've got to be able to shoot. They've not been knocking their shots down. They've got to continue to work for good shots and try to get something going in transition to open up this offense. Crow goes for the three. The Baylor Bears call timeout. The differential is eight. Chandler tries to answer with a three, but misses. The Gamecocks are up by eight with possession. Boatner up top with the ball. Crow now has 19 after that bucket. The contact didn't have any effect on that play. He just charged toward the hoop and would not be deterred. That was a great, strong move. That's clean, it wasn't easy, but he managed to get through the contact by maintaining focus on finishing that way. Jay, it sure didn't, and you can see the contact, but he was just determined to score. And he did score, he winds up with a nice deuce, no foul. Boatner throws the ball inbounds. Crow has an opportunity to get his third three-pointer this trip. Crow utilizing the crossover Time there out. and gets the bucket. The Baylor Bears decide to call a timeout. The ball goes inside. Fires. Good one gets the shooter's rim on a shot that was a little long. The differential is eight. Crow out on top. The Cox score in deep again. Boy, that's solid offensive play right there, Mike. He gets rewarded with the two. Ball game, Jay, what are you thinking? Mike, this team got this big lead going late into the ball game because they shot the ball so well. I think the key was they were ready to shoot as the ball arrived. 
Tried to get a little too fancy there with the crossover, but the defense held steady and drew the foul. That's a heads-up play on defense, Mike. Now in the low post. Jay, he's just been an animal out here tonight. It's really a Trescott inbounds the ball. Down to a minute 47. They go inside. Takes the shot. Hudson now with 10 points in the half. He has been a Junior scoring machine Hudson. all night tonight. And Gunu up top with the ball. Inside. Chandler just picked up number 21 with that bucket. The Jacksonville State Gamecocks with the ball. They're up six points. He's doubled up. Goodwin is hit with a reach in call. That's his first foul of the game. Rhodey has it up top. Goodwin is called for the foul. That will be his second foul of the contest. Rhodey puts the ball in play. Crow from beyond the arc. Peters is called for the personal. That's his first foul of the game. Jay, the clock's become a factor here. If they hurry up, Mike, I think they can get a two for one right now in this possession. Crow hits one from way beyond the three-point arc. Time is winding down, and unless you believe in miracles, this one's just about over. No, I agree. With less than a minute to go in the huge deficit, they'll just play this one out. This is where the coach tries to use the game situation to try to teach his team something for a future ball game. Nine-point game we've got going. Crow, if he gets a three this trip, he would have four on the night. Krogh, perfect on the shot after the perfect Jimmy. crossover. Crow. Wow, Mike, this team is really performing well as a unit, and they're knocking their shots down. They've clearly got the advantage, and they're dominating. If they continue to hit shots, they're going to be tough to beat. Rhodey grabs the defensive rebound. And that's the end of the game. The final score, 60 to 49. Here are tonight's Burger King players of the game.